Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be working on a Skoda Superb 2011 2 litre automatic. We're going to be doing the service, changing the oil, um, oil filter, air filter and also check the throttle body. Um, I have cleaned that throttle body before because um, the, the engine management light comes on uh, every so often and indicates the, the throttle body um, there's some sort of problem there yeah we're gonna look into it see if um, you know the state of it if it's dirty there's any soot in it clean it and yeah so that's that's it for today let's go Okay, so we're gonna start removing the engine tray. Uh, there's a series of uh, Torx 25 on each side of the tray. So remove that. Um, at the back of the tray, you have another three. Uh, Torx 45 at the back of the tray. So remove that and then uh, the tray should uh, come off. Unfortunately, I, I lost the footage for the, for the oil sump. So I've got a picture here. Uh, it's a 19 millimeter uh, sump plug, so remove that. Next, we are going to change the oil filter. First, removing the, the engine um, cover. Then you have the EGR vacuum solenoid valve bracket um, that you have to disconnect to get it out of the way uh, to get access to the oil filter housing. It's a 32 millimeter. Um, socket that you're gonna need to remove it so after removing the the oil filter housing you're gonna notice that a lot of oil coming out from the sump um, you're gonna need about four and a half liters of um, oil back to the engine then next to the oil filter housing you have to change the three uh, rubber seals there's one small a medium in the middle and then a big one at the bottom and you're going to replace with new ones uh, obviously and lubricate them before you uh, put it back together so they don't split or anything so they go really easy uh, next the, the cartridge the new oil filter cartridge it only goes in one way so cannot make any mistake there. It's a bit fiddly to put it back in, but wiggle it and it sits in place. Um, you're gonna notice it, it goes into the hole and just tighten up everything back again. I believe it's a 25 Newton meters. Next, the, oil fil uh, the air filter. There are eight screws holding the, the air filter housing. In this case here, it was um, a torque screw. Um, I don't remember the, the size of it, but it was a torque screw. And I looked online in some other cars, it might have Phillips uh, screws there. Remove the old air filter. that's the new one nice and clean uh, just check the air filter housing for any leaves or any debris there you can remove the, the tray that supports the air filter and clean the inside you know leaves and any debris there is in there <clears throat> put it back together so next we have the fuel filter there is a series of six um, Torx screw bits, Torx 20, and then pry it, there's a place to, to pry it um, open, so just get a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver. Okay. 
and be careful with the corners you don't want to bend any any of the metal in the corners so just pry it really gently and it should pop up I didn't get any rag here and it's impossible not to make a mess changing it with uh, the, the fuel filter so put some rags around and so we don't get any any mess any any fuel around so so the new fuel filter just sits inside the uh, the chamber there and it comes with a new seal as well new gasket which is a bit green just replace that lubricate with some some diesel Put the seal back in this place and it's okay just to push it down firmly and then you, you're gonna feel that it sits in place um, quite flat then tighten the, the six screws I don't need to over tight. Next we have the poly filter, carbon filter. Change, remove the cover first, then it slide to the left uh, the cover for the for the poly filter. The old one looks quite disgusting, quite dirty. New one goes in very easy job there are six holes on the on the filter and you want the cover to go into this holes the six holes and um, just push it up slight to the right hand side I didn't didn't have any screws here but I believe there's some screws uh, to to secure in place. Put the cover back and job done. Easy. Next next we we're gonna take the throttle body out of the car we had the engine lights on and and what I've noticed here after cleaning or oh, before cleaning it was uh, the butterfly there was it was getting stuck in the end with all the suits in the corners so I cleaned all out with some throttle uh, cleaner there are three bolts uh, Torx school cruise boats again uh, T30 and one 10 millimeter that is, um, is connected to the oil dipstick tube sorry but I lost the footage of clearing the codes of the car uh, the code was P0121 I use a uh, Maxcan MS509 and clear the codes two days now and the pro hasn't come back so it was a successful job I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.